Four days after Maria had told Jesus that her brother Lazarus was sick, Jesus finally arrived there. Purposefully, he tarried and said, I do this, that my father will be honored by this. Martha and Mary were bitterly sad. They knew Jesus could have healed him. They believed in Jesus. But Jesus didn't arrive on time. And so he does with us. I want answers today. But we have an additional burden. We are also supposed to have greater faith. We have the Holy Spirit. But are we walking in God's ways? Are we living holy lives? Are we doing the will of the Father? Is it love that rules us? Or is it the selfishness from which hundreds of other sins arise? When Jesus finally arrived there, he simply called Lazarus from the grave. The stench disappeared, the worms as well. For God, nothing is impossible. No matter how late the hour, how far death has progressed, Jesus can remove the stench from our lives and make the worms that eat us disappear. Because He is God. He is mightier than any worldly God. He is the God above all gods. What is worse than death? If Jesus is God over death, then He surely is God above everything. Nothing is impossible to Him. But begin with yourself. Are you even living for Him? Are you really living according to His will? Are you living holy and separate from this evil world? As far as possible, because sometimes you have to work among devils themselves. If you do everything right, and you're still waiting for answers from God, then you are still better off than they who seek answers while they don't even deserve a drop of God's mercy, because they live in rebellion and total disobedience and in complete conflict with His will. Your faith is growing stronger with time and patience, greater than a mountain. God owes no man anything. Everything is out of grace. We say thank you in all circumstances, and we ask and believe that He will do what He knows is right in all His greatness. Sometimes you are praying for a child, but God knows that suffering will save that soul. Then you find peace in God's decision and His will and way. You don't fight against God for what you want because you can't see the end where God as the Omega already is. You accept that if you live according to His will and ask Him for something, that He will do what is right and righteous and good. And good, good is not always that big bag of sweets. Just ask the dentist. Good is not always those cupboards filled with savories. Ask the chemist about cholesterol. Good is sometimes bitter. Because when God looks at us, he doesn't see the breath we are in this wind on earth. He sees the lake of fire and brimstone. And he sees his eternal wonderful kingdom full of his children. And there is where he wants you. Even if you and your loved ones have to go through bitter suffering to get there. Rest peacefully in your grave, my Lazarus. My problem, my crisis. Just know your master is on his way. No tears or fear, because inside you, through your faith, the kingdom of God already has begun. Amen.